I thought I was the only kid with this disease. I've never met anybody else with pancreatitis. I just felt alone in the world. I haven't met a kid before who has pancreatitis before Camp Hope. For who was it the first time they met somebody with pancreatitis? When we gathered all the kids together, and they were all in one group. And I said, how many of you have been to camp before? But not a one had raised their hand, not one. And then I started asking, I was like, okay, why? And they were like, no camp would take us. You can't do a lot of stuff whenever you have it. You usually miss out a lot of stuff. You have lots of pain. It's pretty tough being a kid if you have pancreatitis. I was 11 years old when I had my pancreas removed. I was in dance for multiple years growing up. And every time I had a recital, I, was, I happened to always get a pancreatitis attack, so I always missed that. I missed field trips. I missed basically anything you can think of. I first noticed when, uh, that I had pancreatitis when I was two years old. My stomach kept hurting, and my mom didn't know what was going on. So my mom took me to the hospital, but they couldn't figure out what was happening either. So it took them like a year to figure out what was going on with me. It's such an isolating disease. We just needed to get these kids together with other kids to realize they are normal. You know, that there are kids just like them that miss school and are in the hospital and have stents and they probably know more medical terms at 10 years old than I do. This is something normal that they don't get to do. This is the first time for a lot of kids where this first time on a plane, first time at camp, first time being away from home. And because of their condition, they're not able to do this. The challenge with pancreatitis is a really rare disease. So we really have kids from around the country here to make this camp happen. Um, and uh, you know, it requires a lot of expertise because the um, the, each individual is so different with pancreatitis, and then the kids may have um, symptoms of pancreatitis, like abdominal pain. They need digestive enzymes, some of them, and some of them have diabetes. In 2019, I had doctors remove my pancreas. I came to Camp Hope to share my wisdom with the kids. The biggest thing I wanted to share was to help them be an advocate for themselves. I've had fun on the ropes course. I've had fun practicing, getting ready for the ropes course, uh, going to the pool. I've had fun doing other stuff, especially in the cabin. I think I've met friends that I'm gonna keep here for life. At camp, I've learned to do archery. I've learned to do so many cool arts and crafts. I've made so many great friends that understand me. I met this really nice a girl named Maeve, she's really kind, awesome, and I think she's the best friend I ever made here. I feel like it's pretty cool to see all people who have pancreatitis from different places, different ages, and it just sort of feels like we are all, all connected by this disease and that we're all like a team. I'd like to say that sometimes when you're, you feel alone, you're not the only person in the world. Sometimes there can be light and darkness. And Camp Hope is that light. It's been pretty awesome. I mean, just to be able to run around with all the little kids, I mean, to the best of my ability, and do arts and crafts, and just play card games, and eat with them, and not have to worry about getting sick or needing to find times to rest. There are certain times in my life that I've been able to be a part of something amazing, and this is one of the most amazing things I've ever been able to be a part of. It sounds a bit like a cliche, but there's no words to actually express what it's like to see these kids being able to have fun and enjoy camp, and then the relationships, just seeing them get to meet each other, and it's so sweet. It's very tender and genuine. Sure, it's been fun getting paint all over me and hanging out with the kids, but the most fun I've had is talking to the kids, exchanging stories with them, learning from them and them learning from me. I'm having such a great time, I lost my voice. They do a Color Olympics with all the kids, so the campers get to paint all of the counselors for the week and then vice versa. And I mean, there's paint everywhere. There is running everywhere and just having laughs and smiles and so much fun. 
I'd love to say thank you to everybody who made it possible because just to be able to see these children be children again for the first time, is it's so unique and special and it's such a blessing. Had we not had our donors, there's no way this would have happened. This is a camp that took a lot of effort, a lot of work, not just the cost of the camp, but the cost of travel, and then the cost of the parents having to stay in the area with it. And if we did not have our donors, it wouldn't have happened. We're not doing enough for these children. I mean, we, we need to keep, keep going at this. And for me, I had that moment. And, she had to go to the, to the bathroom for a little while and just cry. Not just in sadness, but in, in joy to see what, what they've been able to pull off here. I'm really excited to come back next year. I love these kids. I love all the volunteers and the docs that have taken time out of their super busy lives to make this what it is. So it's, I'm gonna, never mind, I'm gonna start to cry. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Looking forward to doing it again and looking forward to having more opportunities like this because the work's not done and it's just, it's inspiring and it's exciting at the same time. Thank you, Camp Hope. This has been an awesome week. Thank you so much, Camp Hope. I'm coming back to camp every year. Thank you, Camp Hope. Thank you. Thank you so much, Camp Hope.